Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And hey, if you love all things K-beauty just like I do and you love my videos, come join me over on Instagram for a daily dose of my K-beauty adventure. So check me out right over there. So today is another installment of What's the Tea? This is my hashtag unfiltered review series. And I mean, all of my reviews are unfiltered, but this is where I get to share with you all of the new products that I've been testing. Some of the really popular stuff, new releases, things that I just find really interesting and I'm putting them through the ringer. I am spilling every drop of tea about these products. Good and bad. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new by Wish Trend Quad Active Boosting Essence. Then we're going to jump over to Bonajour with one of their most popular products, the Green Tea Water Bomb Cream. And finally, we're going to finish up with a toner I was so excited to try. This is Scenic the Simple Toner. So give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> by Wish Trend Quad Active Boosting Essence. Now this claims to be a serum booster with a lot of anti-inflammatory and skin soothing benefits. Is it a first essence? No, it's not a first essence. And that was actually one of my first confusions about this product was where do you use this in your skincare routine? And it very firmly is a traditional essence. So you would put this on um, after toner, before your serum. The first four kind of like main star ingredients that they're claiming here, the very first one is actually a complex made up of three different extracts. So those extracts are 8.7% of white mulberry extract, 8.7% of sacred lotus leaf extract, and 9% of magnolia fruit extract. Now, white mulberry extract and sacred lotus extract both are very well known for having a high content of antioxidants, skin protecting antioxidants. And both extracts actually bring to the party some complexion benefits. They both have known benefits for just helping to even out the complexion. Now, magnolia fruit extract is really known for its skin soothing soothing capabilities. Plus it has a lot of beneficial compounds for skin like polysaccharides, polyphenols, and flavonoids. Second ingredient in our quad active complex is 10% of willow bark extract. This is actually a really great anti-inflammatory type of ingredient, can really bring a lot of inflammation down on the skin. It's good for redness, it's great for acne care, and it's generally a fairly gentle ingredient as well. Ingredient number three is 9% of corn flower water. Now this is actually one that I was a little bit unfamiliar with, but it's got a really great uh, high content of polysaccharides. It brings a lot of anti-inflammation benefits to the party and it's well known for its skin soothing abilities. And ingredient number four is 1% of propolis. We all love propolis, right? It's a great skin calming, skin soothing ingredient, very moisturizing, and again, very anti-inflammatory. So those were the quad active ingredients, but I think it's important to also note that this contains fermented black tea as well as fermented honey. So super juicy, right? Now, whenever I get a new product, like first thing I do is I put it on the back of my hand and I test out the texture. And and the first time I did that, I was like looking at it and I was like, is this a first essence? Like I thought this was a regular essence. And the reason I thought that is because it's so runny. It's so thin and it absorbs into the skin like immediately. And it just reminded me so much of my favorite first essences. But I started to work it between my fingers and that's when I realized I was like, oh, there's this really nice, it's very light, but this really nice moisturizing slip to this that you get from a lot of propolis or honey types of products. You know, at first I was like, is this a first essence? And now I wanna call it like a liquid serum, you know? Like it's like the lightest weight, most runny serum you'd ever put onto your skin, but it definitely packs a lot of benefits. I didn't really notice any stickiness or tackiness from this either. So so it's definitely a product I can see working for almost all skin types. Now, Wish Trend is really pushing this as a serum booster, something that's supposed to make your serums work better for you. And I would agree with that statement. I think it actually does. Now, I mostly use this in combination with the By Wish Trend Polyphenols in Propolis Ampule. And when I used it in combination with this essence, it like worked harder for me, if you know what I mean. It wasn't like, 
OMG, this worked like 1000 times better for my skin. It was not that, not at all. I would say it like made the, the serum work 25% harder for my skin. This was actually a great time for me to test it too because it's allergy season. I'm very prone to seasonal allergies and it does actually show up on my skin, which is really bizarre, but that's how it works. Every, every spring and every fall, my skin starts to become very red, very itchy, and I usually have uh, breakouts, increased inflamed breakouts on my skin, along with all my sinus issues. <laughs> so I was using this product at the beginning of the month. I started testing some other stuff, so I moved that out of my routine for a little bit, and then that's when the allergies really started to like show themselves, right? And I was like, oh, I should grab that Wish Trend Essence and I should go back to the prop, the polyphenols and propolis um, ampule. So I started using those two together in my routine and I like, I was so amazed, like within two days of using that in my routine, my skin was like so much calmer. And this is not the kind of like, you put it on immediately like a mugwort or a centella product and it just calms your skin. It's not that, but it just over time, it just really helped bring the inflammation down on my skin and just calm my skin down. Like, you know, overall, it really reduces redness and it helped a lot with inflamed breakouts. It really brought the swelling down, <laughs> if you will. It really just kind of helped start to facilitate the healing process with those breakouts. So I was a really happy camper with this one, especially the combination. So what's the tea, right? What's the tea here? This is a confusing product. And um, I don't know if that's due to the way that this product is marketed. I don't know if it's just the fact that essences are confusing, right? Like of all the skincare like topics out there, like essences are one of the ones that are the most like confusing out there. I get it. But let me break down a few things that I've been seeing because I get a lot of questions about this product, especially over on Instagram. And the first one, um, I've seen people referring to it like as a toner product. And you've heard me talk about how a, an essence is not a toner, but this particular one really isn't because when it comes to the function of what it does for your skin, when it comes to oil water balance, this is not a very hydrating product. You know, this is not really watery or deeply hydrating. There's um, a touch of moisture to this one. There's some good, you know, propolis benefits coming here, but there's not really a lot of great deep water binding types of ingredients in here. So you're not gonna gain a lot of hydration from this particular product. So it's not really a hydrator. Another question that I'm getting a lot about this product is do you have to use it in combination with the serum and is there a specific serum that you should be using it in combination with and the answer to both of those is no <laughs> my personal opinion on this you know even though they're calling this a serum booster I'm already looking forward to trying it out as a serum on its own you know what I mean there's so many beneficial ingredients in here and so many skin beneficial compounds jam-packed into such a nice light and breathable layer I mean it like honestly for a lot of other essences in comparison there's like almost more benefits in this one depending on what you what you want right but like this is one of the most skin calming anti-inflammatory like antioxidant packed essences that I currently own it is a serum booster that's how it's being marketed right so keep that in mind right marketed as a serum booster but you don't have to use it in combination with a serum and you don't actually have to use it in combination with like the wish trend propolis serum or any other propolis serum feel free to you know match it up with a mugwort serum if you want to or whatever you like to use um this is just something that should help um enhance the benefits of what you put on after it another confusion that i've been seeing a lot and this is kind of a little bit more of like a sassy t1 is a lot of people are confusing this as a very propolis centric product and i'm confused by that because um i didn't pick that up from this at all you know it doesn't say propolis in the name um at all and i was like why do people think this is like a propolis essence? And then I realized, I was like, there's two things. Um, and I don't know if they want you to think this or if it's just like a coincidence, but number one, um, the color, right? That golden bottle makes you think about propolis. And um, the funny thing is, I didn't realize this until I really started to use this. The actual essence itself is not that deep amber color. The bottle is colored. Yeah, so they definitely want you to think it's an amber golden hued liquid, right? 
but it does say propolis on the bottle like in the description under the name it says that it contains propolis extract and if you remember from our ingredient analysis it does but only one percent so directly misleading maybe not but i don't know i think they do want you to think this does contain a good amount of propolis and honey so a lot of misunderstandings about this product right it is kind of a confusing one but what i think we really need to know about this is that it is a traditional essence that goes right after toners right before your serums. This can boost the benefits of your serums, making it work just a little bit harder and better for your skin. But it also could be something that is so benefit packed that it could be a two in one essence and a serum. Lots of propolis in this one, probably not, but if you wanna put propolis on after it, it's gonna boost the benefits. Bonjour Green Tea Water Bomb Cream. This is probably their most popular product. And what this is, is this is a water drop cream. But what's really interesting about this is it claims to be suitable for dry skin types, combination skin types, and really good for sensitive skin. Who doesn't love green tea in their skincare, right? It's beneficial for almost everyone. Now, I couldn't find information about how much green tea was in here, like a percentage or a parts per million, but it is listed as ingredient number four, so pretty promising that there's a good amount in here, right? Now, green tea, so like good for the skin, so anti-inflammatory, it's really soothing and calming for sensitive skin, rosacea prone skin, right? It's also a really great antioxidant. It's got a lot of polyphenols in it. Plus it carries some good UV protection with it too, can really protect your skin from UV damage. Plus it's got some benefits for acne prone friends as well because it's very antimicrobial. Now this is a very hydrating kind of moisturizer. It's in the name, right? Water bomb. So this contains a lot of great humectant ingredients like polyglutamic acid, so sodium hyaluronate, and also glycerin. But then it's also balanced out with the moisturizing ingredients, including squalene oil, which is skin identical. It's great for every single skin type. And baobab oil, which is a great fatty acid brings a really good amount of nourishment to the skin. This also contains six peptides. Not expecting that one, were you? I wasn't either. Um, now, I'm a really big fan of peptides and what they can do for the skin, but you know what I always say, right? Not all peptides are created equal. So it's always worth the extra effort to look into what peptides are actually being used and what they can do for your skin. And I'm never disappointed when I see copper tripeptide one on the list. This is one of my favorite peptides. It's got a whole host of anti-aging benefits to it but it also has a really great wound healing ability and that's really the common denominator between all six of these peptides is they're really well known for their um, skin repairing and wound healing abilities including four different peptides that are um, known as the neuropeptide complex um, and these are really well known for skin regenerative benefits as well as skin barrier protection all right the texture because this is where it gets really interesting now I'm describing this like a water drop cream and that's really you know you get it out of the tube and it looks like a cream but then you move it across your skin and it turns into this like really lightweight hydrating type of layer on the skin and this does that but then but then <laughs> it actually has this rich moisturizing oil slip to it and that's you know there's a couple of different oils in here so it goes cream water oil very very interesting but you can feel that it creates this really nice moisturizing lightweight occlusive but breathable protective layer on the skin so what's the tea and i feel like i must say this episode might be slightly disappointing for those of you who are searching for those real like savage unfiltered exposed type of reviews right because this just isn't going to be that but let me tell you um there are some things about this cream that i'm still a little bit skeptical of all right so let's start off with the fact that it claims to be good for dry skin, combination skin, and sensitive skin. I actually think combination skin will like this one because it brings the best of both worlds. We've got hydration and moisture, which is exactly what combination skin needs. A little bit of both. Dry skin dry skin. Now, um, I, I identify mostly with dry skin. Um, I'm a little bit more combo to the dry side, but I also use prescription strength tretinoin. So I empathize with dry skin, right? Like moisturization can be a struggle with my skin type, right? 
Um, I was actually scared to use this, like to test this as my main moisturizer. I, I actually put it off for quite a while because I was like, this isn't gonna work. I just know, this is not gonna work. I just know. <laughs> I just know what I actually did is I first started with the one of my favorite classic half and half tests half one side of the new product and half the other side with what I know works for me so I can get that comparison and I was actually really pleasantly surprised that um, the half the side with the green tea water bomb felt just as good as the side with the Illy Yoon Ceramide cream like what mind blown. I'm actually using it as my main moisturizer today and my skin feels comfortable. So why am I saying that I don't think it'll work for dry skin when it worked for my mostly dry skin? Well, the thing you need to understand is I was wearing a facial oil underneath that and I also use Stridia Liquid Gold, which is a very emollient cream with a lot of nourishment to it. And so I already packed my, my skin with a lot of moisturization as it was and then topped it off with this cream. And I think that is a big reason why I was successful with this, right? So in that sense alone, if you were to use it without those types of, of skincare underneath it, I don't think this is gonna work for dry skin. And I promise you, I would never test this out, personally speaking, in the middle of winter, um, in the, the wind and the cold and the dry. No, I would not do that. I would not trust this to work for my skin at that point in time. For all the situations that dry skin can be put through, this would not be part of my recommendation. But for very combination skin, for very um, humid climates, but you need that touch of moisture, this is actually a beautiful option. One thing that you must be aware of though, it can make you a little bit greasy, surprisingly, because remember that texture, it's super watery, it's a water bomb, but then it does have that, that rich oil slip that you feel. You can also see that a little bit when you put it onto your hand, it leaves a little bit of glow. And for some people, that is gonna translate to really beautiful glass dewy skin. And for other people, it's gonna translate to an oily, greasy mess. <laughs> And for me, it actually was, a, again, I use other products, but it did, it actually pushed my glowiness overboard, right? I am wearing it today, but before I put my makeup on, I had to use uh, oil blotting paper before I put my makeup on because I was like, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> so um, take that with a grain of salt. And if you are oily skin, I don't think you're going to like this. Uh, just the finish alone, you're going to you're gonna dislike it based on that. Now you guys know I love toners, right? It's my favorite category of product and I'm always testing new ones out. But there was one that I was really anticipating. I had my eye on it for a long time and that's scenic the simple toner the simple like already the name drew me in because I was like hmm is this a fragrance free product and oh yes it is and it's a very minimal ingredients list as well I'm um, claiming to be very good for sensitive skin this is also a product that I kept running into over and over again on Huahe which is a Korean skincare app that I use um, you can look at ingredients lists and check out ratings and stuff on there and this is just like one of the most highly rated um, products on there like time and time again and I was like I gotta get my hands on this toner. Star ingredient here is water lily flower extract, which is a very good hydrating ingredient, but it also has really good anti-inflammatory benefits for the skin and it really helps to soothe irritation. Another one here, our favorite, matacasicide. We know this has great antioxidants. It's really good at calming irritation and redness on the skin. Plus this also has aloe leaf water, another one that's great for calming inflammation, hydrating and and soothing the skin. Now the texture of this, it's very watery and runny. It absorbs in the skin so nicely. It's really easy to layer up and it's not one of those toners that has a little touch of moisture or a little slip to it, not at all. This is pure hydration, but this is not a thin toner. I recently did a video with James Welsh and he, uh, he, he had this great phrase, he called it full fat water. That's what this toner feels like. You know, it feels like full fat hydration, if you will. I was really excited about this. As I told you before, you know, it's really highly rated and um, I was so excited by that texture. You know, I was like, oh, I cannot wait to put this on my skin. And um, the first couple of nights that I used it, I was like, hmm, hmm. What is it about this toner? I was like, I don't know if I like this. So I was very confused. I kept using it. It was okay. Nothing bad happened to my skin, but I was just like, there's something missing. That's really what it was. Something missing, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And I was like, all right. 
So I put that one away for a little bit. I started testing out some other toners and it was interesting because I tried two other toners that were decidedly not hydrating enough for my skin. So that answered a question about the scenic, right? Cause I was using those other toners and I was like, my skin is just getting more dehydrated and more dehydrated. These toners are not serving me at all. So I went back to the scenic, I brought that back into my routine and then my skin just like evened out, it was hydrated and it was, it was fine. And so I was like, Okay, so it's not that it's not hydrating enough. So what the heck is going on here? So I finally figured out what it was. And truly, those of you who are watching right now, only those of you who are so super dehydrated are going to understand what I'm about to say because this toner didn't dive deep enough into my skin. It didn't dive deep enough to replenish my skin and really feed that thirsty dragon right inside of my skin, the dehydration dragon. It didn't do that and that's what was missing and that's why it was actually confusing to me because I was like, it's hydrating my skin. Like my skin feels okay, but there's something missing. And what was missing was that deeper element to that toner, which was disappointing because everything else about it, I really liked, but it just kind of, it's very solid, basic, boring. I think it's going to work for a lot of people. Actually, like I said, if you have deep, like real deep dehydration issues, don't bother with it. Cause you're, you're going to feel like something's missing, but if you don't have a lot of dehydration on your skin, you just want a really like basic toner. This could be a good one to go towards. Now, let me tell you, um, one other little real picky thing about this one. It's just the size. It's kind of small, 145 milliliters. Now that's five milliliters short of a real average standard size toner, right? But it's about $16 and I just feel like you can get way more bang for your buck with other toners, right? This is barely, I mean, you can see that this is basically empty at this point and this barely lasted me a month when you could spend that and get 180 milliliters of product, 200 milliliters of product. You can stretch your KBD dollar a little bit further with other products in my opinion. And um, for such a really basic, boring, and honestly just not the highest rated product in my mind, I am a little bit confused why it's so popular, but it's definitely not a bad product. So I'm really curious to know about some of the products you've been trying recently and what's the tea? Are they good, bad, ugly, or somewhere in between? Let me know in the comment box below. If you love the video, but you haven't hit subscribe yet, please consider subscribing. I release two new KBD focused videos every single week. Turn on notifications so you never miss out on that new video. And um, come join me on Instagram if you haven't already, if you wanna see more K-Beauty content from me. I post there every single day. I'm hanging out there talking all about my K-Beauty adventure. So come join me and don't forget to say hi. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you're healthy, happy, and safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.